It's the Agents of Sigma. And we're back again in front of the yeah. camera, not with a full unboxing for you today, no. just a quick preamble of this new game. The Warhammer Age of Sigma, a champions, champions collectible card game. The lovely people at Play Fusion have uh, sent us this founders Go box for in exchange for just one of our firstborn children. Yeah, and we haven't really decided which, which, which we decided was good value. Yeah, it wasn't so we bad went all at all. In. Yeah, um, so we've got the. Uh, founders box. We're not going to bother doing a full unboxing because we've n un un just got it, it, and lots of people have done it. Everyone's so. done them. Uh, we got ours a little late, yeah. and this is video is not going to come out very quickly. So everyone's and their grandmothers done done unboxings already. So the, do, do go and look at some really good ones out there. So yeah. you can go and find yeah. those. Uh, but we, uh, if you haven't seen the game, it's a collectible card game, a bit like Light Seekers, which is a Play Fusion, the company who made this in conjunction with Games Workshop. Their first game. Yep. Uh, there's an app version of it, and there'll be an app version of this soon. Or it is already a. Um, yeah. Beta. A light version of it, and there's a beta version of it, yeah. uh, and so you can play online uh, with people, or you can play. That really excites me about the fact you can scan all your cards yeah. in, and you can just so you can play against your mate in the pub with your cards, or you can go home and you can just sit there pretending you're listening to your wife, you don't know. and and play against people who don't know, or, or your mate, and or you can mate, go yeah, and have another Pete game. And I have friends, we're the only two we only got each other's friends. Um, but yeah, so this is their new game. It's in conjunction with Games Workshop. It has all of the lots of artwork with. Um, the tons and, and tons and tons of glorious artwork yes. out there. There's loads of it. And uh, basically, there are like like AOS. There are four yep. factions. So I just pop this off. I don't know if it's actually still in order because I have been fiddling with it. So it's not really. But there are four factions. There's a destruction faction. You can see there it says destruction. Destruction. There's an order faction. There's a chaos faction. And there's an undead faction. Yes. So uh, you basically pick one of those. And there are if you don't want to go all of you can't go and all of the founders pack anymore because there are none left. No, limited. Uh, they were limited mm. editions, uh, but you can get starter packs for each dozen. and they're actually only around thirteen. Thirteen pounds, yeah. yeah. You can get a full deck, and you're done. And thirteen you can play quid. The game. And now yeah. it is, of course, a collectible card game. Collectible card games do, of course, need boosters. The starter decks only contain a fraction of the card. Not a, not a sizable fraction, but it is only a fraction. The amount. Uh, uh, it is only a fraction of the card. I am looking forward to seeing what's in here, and of course, Rob and I are going to have to fight over the card. So, if there are any generic ones that come out that we both really want, oh, we're going to have to arm wrestle that. for it. I haven't thought of that. Well. Mm, never mind, I'll keep you. Uh, yeah, oh, I've scanned that. it, sorry. Oh, <laughs> maybe maybe one of us can have it physically, the other one can have it mentally. Ooh. Uh, digitally, I mean. <laughs> mentally. Uh, um, oh, I'll remember that. <laughs> and so um, that's basically the game. We're going to run through a quick game for you now. Uh, I'm going to be playing Order for the first game. Pete, I don't know if you know. I'm not. Chaos, like? chaos or Under, Chaos or Under, Chaos or Under. I'm going to do Undead. Undead, I thought you probably undead. would. So I'm going to order versus Undead, and if we have time, we'll run through a uh, Destruction versus. Uh, Chaos. Yeah, so yeah, we'll do goes. that as well. And they do play. I've played a couple of games with the uh, Stormcast, and my son played the uh, Oryx. Now, apart from me, he must have cheated because he Probably. won. He's your son. He so. won both times. <laughs> He won both times, so he must be saying go on there. Uh, they, they do play thematically quite nicely, like, like the game. I do love these little coins you get. There's one of each. Obviously, that is only in the founders pack, so I'm sorry for rubbing your noses in it. But you get a lovely one for each of them there. Death, Chaos, uh, Order, and Destruction. So we'll be showing them off. And it's just, I'm, I'm really excited about this game because I've never played a, a, a trading or collectible card game, whatever you call it. Uh, my son was no. briefly into Pokemon, but because I didn't really care, I didn't really get that involved in it. No, and, I mean, I played Pokemon. The problem with Pokemon is there were so many cards already. I imagine the game, there were so many cards and such an established kind of order. I think it's going to be a lot of like. cards in here and there yeah, as but, well. Yeah, I know, but the, 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 you, we're getting into the ground floor. It's a bit like why I like Shades by. Yeah, yeah. We're getting into the true, ground true. floor. And why, why in some ways I haven't taken some of the games which was bigger, more established games, because you go play AOS like well there are thousands of choices 40k and, just and, so and many everybody know, you know so many options and everybody knows what to do whereas yeah. I mean already I'm, we're behind the loop because we've only had all the companies behind some people who are just really so really into this game so they were talking about killer car combinations I didn't even really understand but uh, you kind of there at the beginning yeah. and, and so you can kind of learn it with everybody else which I really like we I get think. to fall behind from the very beginning rather than come yeah, in from behind exactly. halfway through exactly we will gradually fall behind yeah. I don't know that this will replace Shakespeare content particularly but I think we could play a few games of this every now and again we quite a good fun little palette cleanser for us yeah, uh, yeah. and it is what I say thematically I think it's really nice which you will yeah. see in the coming it is episode. worth pointing out that we are not going to be a bleeding edge gamers here coming up with the awesome tournament winning combinations 
that's just not us. No, uh, I mean, most we, of our, we, we most of our reasonably good at Shades Bar. Yes. But, yeah, but this game, but we, we haven't won a tournament there. No, we haven't been to, been to, been so, to I don't really. So, to be honest, I like playing Shades Bar, but tournaments involve playing lots and lots of games. They do. And there they are do. very few things that I actually probably maybe sleep. I think I said this before. There are very yeah. few things I actually want to do all day. Yeah, sleep's one of them because yeah. you just don't get to sleep. But I do like this. Um, so our regular fans already know us for what we are. Hopefully, the games they're not going to be. Yeah, they're not going to be the most optimum played games, and we will get things wrong every now and then. But hopefully, they'll be entertaining games. And of course, if you're a Patreon supporter, then we might actually start playing some of you guys uh, on the Discord well, version. Yes, yeah, well, we can maybe we can exciting. feature them. We can do it live. We can record it, and you guys can get on the channel digitally. Absolutely, he's talking straight off the top of his head. There, we've no idea how easy or difficult that will be. Not a clue. But we, will ha we have some fun with this game. I think, so, like I say, it's going to be a light game that we're going to, yes. we're going to enjoy playing. Oh, we're not going to invest heavily in it. We're really lucky to have got this many boosters. We're not yes. going to invest heavily in it. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, unless, unless all you guys want us to, and you know, you see more content, see more content. Do you, do you want to see us open these things online? I mean, they do that. With People do other that. Things. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. But we can do that. Uh, but again, I'm not you. sure we know enough about the game to do we're it. We're amazed. That people like watching us play Shades by well, so you know who like watching right, well, if anybody likes people well, yeah. um, oh, I think it's probably enough isn't it so, yeah. Yeah. yeah brilliant so we're going to crack on with the game and we shall see you on the other side too bye your death is that why you're going to the other side yeah okay Hello! Hello, AOS fans! I mean, here we are. It's the Agents of Sigma. Top down, ready for our first game of Warhammer Age of Sigma. The Champions. <laughs> so this... we've, we've, got the, we've got the boards out. Yep. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Fair enough. Never right. played this game. What you have to do, Pete, you have to give me £500 okay. for the first round. Hang on. And I give you this nice Hang coin on. with a hammer on. Ooh. <laughs> £500, easy. No, I don't think you're telling me the truth, huh? No, absolutely I'm not. We will try and explain this ago. This is going to be a learning game for both of us, probably. Yes. Uh, indeed, this is already the second cut of it because we screwed it up first time. <laughs> um, so we're going to try and uh, try and teach the game. I'm going to try and teach it to Pete as we play. So do bear with us. I've I may, may, some mistake, may, may make some mistake. I've watched some videos, played a couple of games. I may make some errors. So do bear with us. If we do make any... Clearing everything. Just do put in the, the comments, comments below. below. Just gently, though, nicely. No, yeah. don't just go. You got that wrong, and then don't say anything. Yeah, yeah at least give us a time. Else. Give us a time yeah. and what we did wrong, and we'll work it out from there. And do bear in mind, any of our current uh, watchers will be familiar with our playstyle. We are not tournament winning uber deck builders. We are not going to be giving you the best inside strategies here. This is mostly for entertainment and hopefully you'll learn a bit of something at the same time whilst we have a bit of fun and you'll enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. And we, of course, we probably can't have a very streamlined uh, game uh, game anyway because these are just the starter decks and we haven't yes. tinkered at all. So this is literally straight out of the box. You can have a really good game, but you're obviously not going to have an optimal game. Exactly. And we have got the big fellas because we've got the founders pack, but we're not going to play with those today because because they're going to just make it so unbalanced. <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it unbalanced, but they they uh, aren't in the starter pack. So this yes. is literally a if you buy the starter pack, this yeah. is the sort of game you can have. So you start off with Pete. You start off by putting out your blessings, oh. and you might think you put them on these squares that say blessings at the bottom, yeah. but you don't. You put them on the champion squares. Oh. They're face down and random as long as you put four out. So when you build your deck, you have four blessings. No more, and no less. Four champions. Three is too few. Five is way out. Exactly. And then we've got one of these next four cards. Oh, these right. are the champions. Champions. So these are the guys who are basically going to be going on quest to release these blessings. Ooh. When they've released the blessings, the blessings get turned over, put down here, and they are quite powerful, can sway the game. Oh, I'll okay. explain how they do that in so, a second. So how do we decide who goes first? You literally just pick. Uh, the game is meant to be balanced, so there are mechanics to mean that if you go second, then you get extra cards. Okay. So you... So I'm going to play Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, you. You go okay. first. Thank Brilliant. You. Okay, that's excellent. So if I play first, all that means now is that I get to place one of my cards down and I'm going to play the Knight Herauder here. Um, and so I play one. Now, Pete, because you um, are kind of playing catch-up, you are allowed to play two. Okay. I'm going to put both of my skeleton champions down. Okay. They're fairly lowly, so I figure they're probably the ones you want to put out to start with so your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. Absolutely. But I don't know what I'm doing true. either. Well, I don't know because I found it in, uh, certainly when I was playing Destruction, my son played Destruction today, um, it, it's quite convenient to have um, a certain card opposite the ma magician. Okay. So now I know, if, I don't necessarily know because you. But, you, know, you might know why I'm a magician because you yep. might want to play the magician last. It's okay. tricky. So then um, you have to place two cards. Yes, I'm going to play two. I'm going to play the Lord Relictor here, okay. who is my magician, and I'm going to play uh, the Liberator Prime over here. Okay. And then I place my last two, so it effectively goes one, two, two, one. Yes. Cool. 
So I'm going to put down my bloody vampire queen. And I'm bloody gonna, vampire I'm going to play queen. finally Vandus Hammer. Ooh. And he's a unique. He is unique, so there is only one. You only allow one Vanders Hammerhead in your sure, deck. That's what his mum always told him. <laughs> Whereas uh, some of the cars uh, that are unique, like the Skeleton Champions, you can have multiples. Yep, and the Bloody Vampire. The you can have multiples vampire. of those. I think it's only two of each, um, but you can uh, have more than one. Cool. Uh, so, so bam, there we are. We're so up. basically, we've got our cards. We've got our deck. How many yep, cards? Thirty cards in, cards in a deck. Thirty cards. You shuffle them up and you stick them in where it says deck. Absolutely. There we go. And most of the action will go in these. Tr- tr- tram Trots. lines here. Um, this is where the action plays. So uh, th- this hero will affect this card. So some of the ki- some of the heroes have things on them that say they affect uh, cards in front. Will be anything this pl- guy plays will affect over here. So everything is goes in this way. But there are little boxes under here. So I have three green ones. So the Knight Herauder, if he does his heroic act, can uh, can can affect, affect these three. three greens. So these are green. Pertains to these green boxes. Guys. If they're red, like you've got, so I've got the bloody vampire queen. She has four, four, four red squares. So that means there. when you do whatever that is, it affects all of these. Whoa. If it was green, it would be all of these. I suspect because her ability says when this champion removes a highlighted unit, that basically means if she kills anybody, yes, then I can pick a vampire from my discard pile ah. and put it back in my hand, not yes. just in my deck, in my hand. Yes, very nice, cool. So there we go. We've got everything set up. We have, and there's one couple more things to tell you uh, before we go. The idea is, obviously, we've got to release these blessings. Yep. And the way we release these blessings is ultimately is that we turn the card all the way around 360 degrees. There we go. I've done that one, so I get that. Absolutely. Hooray. No, you have to do these actions. These are quests here, yes. and they're specific things to the game, and they are mostly the same. Um, but so the Liberator Prime has this orangey one, which means he does. I have to do damage. You have to do these in order. So I have to do the damage one first, and then the card will rotate. And you always go to have the this, top left, don't you? Yes, always to the top left. And I will have this shield next, mm-hmm. which is um, place a unit. Deploy a unit. S- deploy a unit. So um, that was, if I did that, it would spin round. And I have got this one, which is uh, play an ability, play card. An ability card. And then finally, I have this, which is, which is place a unit, but it has a little Stormcast symbol in it. That means I have to field a Stormcast unit. And then you would go all the way around to there. And you would the blessing play the blessing. Revealed. And you can see all of the different symbols on the cards are explained on some handy little quick references on the paper um, playing mats that you can get, and there's lots of other things as well. So so you don't have to, you're not alone, it's all written down. Yeah, I remember it all, it's in the rules as well, which are available online. Yes. I guess people put a link to those in the, in the uh, comments below. So next we have to work out how many hit points we've got. Right. It's fairly straightforward. You start with a base of 30, and then you look on the middle of the card on the right-hand side, you've got two numbers. The green number is how many points the card costs for uh-huh. deck building, so we don't have to worry about that now. Above that you've got a 1, I've got a 1 on my card, a little red disc with number in. So I've got a 1, a 0, a minus 1, and a 2. And each one of those is how many hit points it adds or subtracts. Okay. So uh, 1 plus 0 minus 1 is 0. And then plus two, so minus, and that you add that to the thirty that you start with. So cool. minus thirty-two. Cheats. So mine is one minus one minus one one. So I just start on thirty. Thirty. And now we're ready to start playing. So Ooh. we start by drawing a cards. Pair yep. of us. I'm going to go first, so I take four cards. You're going to go second, so you're allowed five cards. Excellent. So we draw our cards. Okay, so here are the cards. Yep, so as you can see, I've got a steaming pile here. I've got lots of spells. Ah. Um, which means I can only play spells of the blue cards, and I can only play that. Only my spell person can play Ooh. those. Um, and you can stack up and stuff, but we'll come on to that. Right, so it's the first turn. Um, I can either, I can do, I can. you have two actions you can take. One, yep. you can take one, you can take zero, you can take one, you can take two. Or you can play two, I presume. Uh, sorry, actions are... Playing two, sorry. Right, okay, so, so sorry. you can play two cards, yeah. you can play one card and draw a card, yeah. or you could draw two cards. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's exactly it, yes. And you draw but you draw the cards afterwards. You can't say, oh, I'm going to draw a card and then play an action. You can only, you can decide not to take any... You decide you finish your actions and then you can draw any cards, if, depending on how many you've taken. It. Drawing but, cards is always last. Yes, that is correct. I am going to try and play the Wardy Lights on my... Um, Lord of Relictor, because the first thing he needs to do is, is do health to get turned around, and uh, if I can get this all the way to the end, um, I should, should, no, probably should explain health. that it can be four health. Because they, but the way these play is at the start of each turn, these turn Ninth through degrees okay. and clockwise, and eventually um, they get to some. They might the numbers are in different places, but eventually something will happen, and then you know an effect will occur. But we'll yep. go through that as we go. So I'm going to do that, and I think because this is a learning game, and I don't want to be cagey, I'm just going to go. I'm going to, I don't want to have any card left, but I'm I'm going to risk 
throwing in my um, uh, Hurricane Raptor as well, and I'm going to put that in the middle. Um, so uh, this does one damage, because it says here there's a little circle, it says one, which means you take the left hand damage, it does one damage to you, Pete. So you take one damage, Ow. and then it also says the highlighted champion cannot deploy spells or units or play abilities. Oh. So this card here, while this card is in play, cannot play basically do anything can't they deploy can't spells or units so or I need, play I need to get rid of that or I need to do something yes but basically this will have this will, this will turn next to my turn it will do two damage and you still won't be able to and then it will turn a third time and then there's nothing there'll be nothing in this corner at all and when there's nothing in the corner the card goes into the discard pile okay. so you you only have it's only two turns you can't do anything with this guy yeah yeah anybody who's played light seekers will find a lot of these uh effects and mechanics very similar because it's done by the same people and because this unit i've just played as a stormcast unit it's a stormcast on there this needs it requires a stormcast unit i can turn it around okay it's the first step on his quest Cassis. right you so i'm going to play the murderous vargeist mm -hmm. which immediately does two damage to you as indicated in the top Ouch. left corner damages your opponent and i also levels up my skeleton champion one, or rotates him one. I can see there you've got another murderous Vargeist. Yeah. He, uh, we're playing open hand, so we can learn. Um, you cannot play that this time. You can only play one of the same type of card. Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably to stop people from having an uber ability and playing multiples of them and absolutely yeah. shredding an opponent. Yes, although I think you're only allowed, I can't remember the exact number in deck building rules, I think it's only three or four of the same card yeah. in a deck. So I'm going to play Terrify. On there, it's a spell, and it can only be deployed by a vampire champion, which he is. And it highlighted units and spells are dormant, and it shows here a little square on either side. These two, so this is now dormant. Okay, and that means that its effects do not, uh, the affected cards do not apply their effects and cannot rotate or restart. That then frees up my bloody vampire queen. That's very mean of you. So you've taken. Both your actions, which you can't draw any more cards, yep. so play pass over to me and it starts with my battlefield phase. Normally I would turn this card, but I can't because you made it dormant, so it has to stay where it is. Because he's terrified! And he's, he's terrified. This one can turn, however, because it affects here and here. So this one turns, so it's still an X. If there's an X in the top corner, you don't do anything and you can't, this uh, text doesn't do doesn't anything. Apply. So if it was a card with one of these, it wouldn't apply for the turn. There was an X there. As it is, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I can't play anything now because now I've finished my battlefield phase, it goes into my action phase if that's what it's called and uh, I can't do anything so I'm just going to draw two cards. Okay. You can only play uh, the certain colour cards, so a red card can only be played by a red, I mean, you're lucky you've got red and blue so they can play red or blue cards but the blue cards can't be played by the red ones. Yeah. And. Um, it's like difference with spell. So if you've got a unit here, so this guy here is a unit, this one is a spell. This guy can play abilities on and he can use them. But this guy is effectively controlling the spell, so he can't use abilities while he's casting a spell. Right, okay. A subtle distinction. Okay. Right, yeah, so it goes over to me now. So the first thing that happens is this rotates, chunk, and does two damage to you again, because the little rotation says damage to your opponent, and there's a two there. So this then also rotates, that so goes chunk to there as well, and there's nothing actually happening with it but it just turns and then I move on to my cards so I'm going to play this murderous Vargeist here and that will do two more damage to you and rotate my champion and then I'm going to play my second action soul stealer which will do when it turns it will do rend damage to you and I gain that health back it doesn't do anything for a while, because it's got to rotate four times, not to the bottom corner, but there we go. That is my go over and done with. Okay, so I will pass on, and I should have said, I think you did it right, but you always progress the cards that way. Right to left. Doing it right to left, so... Oh no, uh, no, left to right. Left to right, sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah. <laughs> that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that way. Yeah, always do it from left to right. So I'll start with this card, but he's dormant at the moment because of the spell, so I can't do anything. This one turns... And I do uh, four damage to my opponent, Ow. and I gain dish, four dish, health. Dish, dish. Ow. Um, and this uh, has healed, Ow. so he now turns around. Yes. Now he doesn't also get the spell because he's cast, but I have to cast another spell, which is the next thing right. to do, um, uh, which I can't do. 
and um, he is still casting a spell. And as you as an open hand, I have four spell cards in my hand. Uh, that's actually an ability, but he can't cast an ability because he has a spell. So I'm going to draw two more cards. Okay. I'd hope that they're not spells again. I hope they're not spells. I think I've probably got all the spells that I've got in my <laughs> hand there. So it moves on to me, and moving left to right, he rotates and does another damage. This rotates, well, it doesn't rotate, rotate. anymore, so yeah, that gets discarded. Into, that's right. Soul Stealer rotates one, and this rotates and does two damage. This game's easy. I am now going to pick up two cards. Uh, that's it for me. Back to you. Back to me. I start from this way. So this person is no longer um, under the action of that spell because it is gone. So I can turn this and do two damage. Ow. So this this person can no longer play an ability. You're, you're casting a spell anyway, so you couldn't play an ability actually. So it was better me telling you that. But uh, you can no longer do. If for some reason I managed to destroy that spell, you could then not replace it until, 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 until the card has disappeared. Cool. This card turns, and now there's nothing in that corner, so this goes into the discard pile. And then it is my turn. So I'm going to play a spell. I think is the right thing to do. I'm not quite sure. Play a spell. Uh, here, this uh, highlighted units cannot rotate, so this one here cannot rotate. Uh, but I have played a spell, so this can turn around one more like that. And then I'm going to play Piercing Shot over here. Piercing which, which is an ability, it doesn't actually go there. It's an ability, just three Ren damage to my opponent. Ow! That's so three damage to you. Boink, boink, boink. So and abilities just board happen board. and get discarded yes. immediately? Yep. And okay. then this because it's a this this guy needs to do damage, he's done damage, he's gonna rotate as well. And that is the end of my turn. Okie dokie. So first thing I do is everything rotates, so he rotates around and goes off. This then rotates around another one, and this rotates around and does one damage to you. And then I'm going to play Arcane Bolt here, because that looks pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know what my other two cards I can use them for yet, so I'm just gonna draw another card. My turn. Uh -huh. This guy can't rotate, so he just does two damage to you. Two, two more damage to me. But this one can now rotate. It doesn't have a symbol in the world, so it goes in there. I'm going to play the Long Strike Raptor over here. Ooh. Damage to your opponent. So do I do X damage to your opponent, which is nothing. Increase this by two if the Highlight Champion is disengaged, which this guy currently is. Okay, so if I want to stop him from taking loads more damage. Extra damage, or you, taking your, you yourself taking extra damage, yes. I need to put somebody there. over there. That's right, and then I'm going to play the Gift of Sigmar ability on my Lord Relictor. Gain one health. Increase this by two for each Highlighted Stormcast unit. Stormcast, and the, the units are anybody along this path. Ow. So Stormcast unit, Stormcast unit, so that's two each, that's four. Ow. So increases by so that's five health back. Ow! But now I'm only down to two cards. I'm now this was an ability, so this turns around one more. So I'm now one step away from uh, from uh, releasing the first blessing. Okay, so beginning of my turn, starting left to right, I'm going to turn my arcane bolt one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this guy one. He does four damage, four rend damage to my opponent. Right, I can't. And I gain that, that much health. One, oh, two, three, four. Oh, suddenly it's a little bit closer again. It's an eight point swing, and that obviously then dis that doesn't disappear yet. And then this guy's going to turn, and there is nothing in that corner, so he all vanishes away. And then I'm going to draw two more cards because I don't really like anything that I've got at the minute. So well, it's my turn, so starting this way, I turn this one and it disappears. I turn this one and it does two Ow. damage, but it's increased by two if the Heart of Champion is disengaged, which you are. Okay. I'm going to play Warding Light on my a wizard, which is a spell, which means I turn it all the way around and I release the blessing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Swift Judgment. Four damage to your opponent. Increase this by five if the highlighted champion is disengaged. Oh, that was lucky. I assume you're not... As you were controlling a spell, I should have done that next turn. <laughs> when, uh, when when, so it would have been two turns four later. Damage? Five four damage. damage. Four damage. So does that do that every turn then? Or no, is that just uh, that once. That is a blessing instant. I think. Okay, just so once. some blessings are one shot yeah, instant things, and others will be. Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. Well, I was quite lucky then. I can't do anything else because I played a spell. I've only got a spell in my hand, so I'm going to draw one card. Twan. Just twan. twan. Just twan card. Twan and card. It, and I can tell you it's twabish. Twan't use it. Okay. Twan't. 
So it comes over to me, and again I rotate my cards. The arcane bolt turns seven damage. Oh, Takes me down to twenty. Oh. And the soul stealer turns as well, and that's back to where it started. So he disappears. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to play the charging black knight oh. over here. Oh. So that retur- turns him round one, Whoa. and the charging black knight removes a highlighted unit, which is him. Ah, boo! Rock, 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 rock. And the turning does damage, but there's no nothing on there at the minute. It's an X. Sorry, I, he when he did damage, I could have turned Vanders. I'm going to use my Hungering Vampire Lord's ability, which is discard one card from my hand and gain two health. Oh, uh, yes, so... And I'm going to get rid of my tactical formation. You can... Uh, one thing we haven't covered yet is that some of the heroes have heroic acts on them, which you may do uh, one one heroic act per turn, which is what Pete has just done. Bing! And uh, that has enabled him to throw a card away. Dink, dink, and, and get, get two, two health, health back. back. And nom, we're nom, pretty nom, much nom, neck nom, and nom. neck. Moving into this. It's quite ironic for vampires. <laughs> <laughs> so back over to you. So the warning light goes round one. It does nothing. It does nothing. I'm going to just draw two cards. Okay, so onto me. I'm going to rotate my charging black knight. It does two damage to uh, me. And now we are really very close to being neck and neck. Mm, yeah. And uh, the arcane bow also turns, but that has nothing left on it. Oh, it does oh. seven again. Ah. Oh. <laughs> And then I've got to decide what I want to do, and I think I'm going to play Soul Stealer with my ow, ow. Vampire Lord there, and I'm going to draw a card. Back to me. So I'm going to turn this round. This is uh, does four damage to you, Pete, ow. and I gain four health, so it's an eight point swing back ow. in my direction. One, two, three, four. I don't know why I've taken it off, because that's not right. <laughs> Leave that there. goes off next turn. I'm going to play the Disruptive Liberator. Over here, damage your opponent, the Highland Champion cannot deploy units. And I'm going to turn this around this way, because I have deployed a unit, a Stormcast unit, and that's one action. For now, I'm going to take a card. So I am going to rotate this one around, and it disappears. And I'm going to rotate the Soul Stealer. So she can't play... No, no units, but she could play a spell. Yes. And it can play an ability. So I'm going to play Opportunity Strikes from oh. this one here. So it is a ability. Okay. And it does oh, two yeah. damage to you. It would do another three if you had nobody around. You kind of really need to get that one out early. Otherwise, it's really yeah. hard. And that turns him another one because he's using Ooh, ability. You're there. And then I'm also going to play a Freakish Crypt Horror over here. And that okay. will rotate him around one as well. I think if you play it there, you can rotate it again, I think. To do that. Yes. So I shall play it there, and that returns him again. Bing, bing, bing. So he's still there. So you've revealed a blessing. Oh, I've got a blessing. What is it? Oh, it's auto win. So oh. Good game. That's a good blessing. Turmoil of souls. Mm. Four damage to your opponent. Ouch. Shuffle two cards from your opponent's hand into their deck. Oh. Oh. Right, so four damage. Yep. And get rid of two of my cards. Shuffle them back into your deck. Is it you pick them randomly, do you? No, it just says shuffle two cards oh, okay. from your opponent's hand into their deck. I'm putting Arcane Bolt and Brutal Smash back into your deck somewhere. Meanie. <laughs> Meanie poo. Uh, and that is my go done. Okay. So I am going to rotate this one, and I'm going to do uh, one damage to you. <laughs> And I'm going to rotate this one, and it's going to go in the bin. That one. So I'm going to play my Strike Force Liberator over here. If you uh, so just uh, I don't do any damage, but it, it, at the moment it would do if if you had you know, it will do damage next turn. But this does turn round once, and I'm going to draw a card. Okay, I really have got. A lot on that lot, so <laughs> I'm going to turn my freakish crypt horror. He does one damage to you, and I gain one health. Mm. Uh, I get very confused which way the things yes. need to yeah. go. <laughs> You've really got to pay attention. Yeah. And the soul stealer moves one as well. Okay. So that's that, and I am going to draw two cards. So I'm going to do these. So this turns around one, does Oop. one damage to you, Oop. and this turns around and does two damage to you. Oop. And then I'm going to play opportunity strike. Uh oh. Uh, not there. <laughs> not straight into the discard pile. Onto the Liberator Prime. Yep. Uh, which That's two damage. Two damage, yep. And then that turns around because you need an ability. And then I'm going to take the card. 
Okay, so I am going to rotate this one one, and that does X damage, so nothing. I'm going to turn Soul Stealer, that does four damage to you, and I gain that much health. Four damage. One, Ooh. two, three, four. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> ten, to, ten to nine. See, I thought I was getting plastered, but you're not that far no, behind not, me. No. Okay, uh, and then my... I'm going to play the Zombie Dragon here. Whoa. So, as this enters play, discard one bad. card from my hand. Okay. So I'm going to discard the Ravenous Crypt Ghoul. Uh, it does rend damage as it turns, but nothing is yet. And he turns around one because he summoned somebody. Right. And then draw a card. Okay. I'm going to turn this around to do two damage. And I think I'm going to be dead soon. I'm not sure you are. I'm going to turn this around and do take it off. Did the first one come off that yeah? Oh, every time I do that. Sorry. That's he right. doesn't come off. He stays he there. He stays there because he hasn't actually no. rotated yet. No. And... Mm. I'm going to play an Alpha Griff Charger. Ooh. Does one damage to your opponent increase this by one if the highlighted champion costs seven or more? Oh, well, she costs, costs nine, nine, so, that's so two, two damage. damage. And he's played another thing. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, so on my go, he rotates and does two damage, and I gain that much health. Oh, <laughs> seven to eight. The Soul Stealer turns, and now that's off the board. And the zombie dragon turns and does two damage. Well, I'm losing now. Oh, I'm winning! <laughs> right, quitting here. I call it a win for me. <laughs> right, I'm going to play the feasting vargeist. Corners one to two gain that much health. So I gain one health back. Oh, I think and that gonna... rotates my vampire. I think you're going to survive, you swine. Swine! And then I'm going to draw a card for my second one. Okay, I am going to twist this and... Pop that in there. I'm going to twist this one and do one more damage. I'll do two damage. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to actually going to play Piercing Shot on the Knight Heraldor, ooh. which does three Ren damage to my opponent. Now, this is crunch time because the Knight Heraldor has now gone all the way through. Oh, God. So, I'm going to play another Blessing. It's not too bad. It's kind of what it's, it's a it's a it's a healing one, healing storm, gain three health. So, I gain three no. health, but it's passive, so it will turn around. Wow. Uh, Pete and I have just been looking at the difference between passive and instant. Passive cards rotate four times round like the, or the, a number of times round as they need to, like this card, and get discarded at the end. Instant ones actually should have been face down, and these actually would be placed face down when they were Ooh. finished, when they were spent. So I should have placed that one face down earlier, and now I'm going to place this one. These are face up. I've got my three, and we're, I'm back in, and I've played... Did I play one card yet? Yes, I played the, uh, I played the ability... The piercing shot. Yeah, ability, so I'm going to take another card. Oh. Ah, over to me. Uh, I also have to turn my Turmoil of Souls over because it's an instant blessing. So I'm going to rotate my cards. So he rotates and he does disappear now. My Feasting Vargeist rotates one and does one damage. No, he doesn't. It gives I you gain health. one health. I'm on to four. My Zombie Dragon turns and does four damage. Ow. Bam. And now, my cards. I'm going to play Cursed Strike on my vampire, bloody right. vampire queen. Three damage to my opponent. Ow. And I may rotate a highlight spell or unit one step forward or backwards. So I'm going to rotate that on one step. And that oh. now is on corner three. No, no, on corner no, no, three, three I draw, draw two okay. cards. I was going to die. So, well, you might do. Yeah, it depends on what I pick up. Oh, yeah, you've got an action, haven't you? So, I've drawn two more cards. Uh, that also turns my vampire around one, because she has now done an ability as well. Oh, yes. I'm going to draw a card for my second action. I've got a Crypt Shield Black Knight. So over to you, Robin. Mm. So, I rotate this round one, and I'll do two more damage to you, Pete. Ow. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, I'm going to be dead soon. Oh, I'm dying. I'm going to play Triumphant Smash. Yeah. This might not be the right time to play it, but equally it's the only way at the moment I can do any damage to you next turn. Uh-oh. Remove a highlighted spell or unit. If a card was removed, rotate a highlighted ally unit one step backwards. So, so I'm going that. to re re remove that, even though it's about to go into the graveyard yeah. anyway. Uh, that's not that it's called the graveyard in this game. Um, so that goes into there, and I can rotate this one backwards. Oh. <laughs> And I have one action left, which I've used to draw a card. So it's on to me. That rotates and vanishes. Yes. So I'm going to summon a frenzied Vargeist ah, here. What does that do? 
Um, so when it rotates, damage to your opponent, and then remove a highlight Ooh. unit. And I'm going to play the Crypt Shield Black Knight. <laughs> Touch without a one. <laughs> no, no, no. Corners one to oh, two. No, it reduces the, the damage received from highlighted oh. enemies. So it reduces the damage from these three by okay. one. Oh. <laughs> and on the third corner, it will damage you for two. Oh. And those are my two actions. So I'm going to rotate this round. One and do one damage because you reduce it by one. No, just two damage normally. Ah. And you reduce it by one. Oh, that was unintentional, but <laughs> I thought you were going to do zero, so I'm, I'm still terrified I'm going to die. Oh, and she needs to turn round oh, one okay. because she has summoned a vampire yes, yes. unit. Oh, unfortunately, Pete, I just picked up Opportunity Strike. Two damage to your opponent. Oh. Increases by three if there are no hard units in play, so that is enough. Two damage to, and I'm to, dead. To do it, because uh, it's not it's from here, so it doesn't. I think that will be from there. Damage from there. So I'm afraid. I think I have done oh, enough to just, kill you. Just. I think had I managed to eke out another round, I'd have more health available then. So you would have drawn a second card, a card for your second action, I presume. Yeah. And then Paladin Decimator. And then I would have done. That would have rotated just to reduce damage. That would have rotated, and that would have then removed a highlighted card. So it would have removed that one. Mm -hmm. You gain an extra action. I gain an extra action. I wouldn't have been that. No, because it would have rotated. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Sorry. Yeah. So if that would have rotated, yeah, that would have got removed. Yeah. I could have then played Bloody Thirst. Yeah. Which is an ability which can only be played by a vampire champion. If this champion's removed a highlighted unit, which is anybody from here, okay, yeah. I would have gained six health back. You'd have been back up there. So I'd have been back up there somewhere. Oh, and that would have also given me another action. Yeah, which didn't become a card. Yeah, I would have picked up two yeah. cards. And then I got another. I got another. Uh, a paladin you, decimator. Yeah, so I wouldn't have been dead. No. And I'd have played this here and I would have returned this one. Yeah. To be out. And I'd have got my blessing out. And I'd have done highlighted Stormcast unit leads, play, draw one card. So it'd just been a passive. Yes. Passive thing. I don't know if that just stays there. It hasn't got any twisty things. I guess it just stays Is it an there. instant or a passive? It's it's passive, but it hasn't got any things. Yes, yeah, so you, that must just stay there and mm. do and trigger each oh, turn. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn my blessing. Oh. So I'd have got some health back as well. Yes. At least two lots, I think. Yeah. So we did get a bit ragged at the end there, guys. A little bit. A little bit. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm a bit confused by how... Um, because the, there's some abilities which, like the vampire, the bloody vampire queen, has an ability which, when that champion removes a highlighted unit, so when she, her action or whatever is here removes something, I can take a vampire out the discard pile. But there, there don't seem to be many abilities that remove cards. When it, this champion. So there's devour, cards. which removes a highlight spell or unit. And Murphy's Law, I picked up two of those now. <laughs> They're both abilities, and they remove the one directly directly opposite. So I could have used that on her earlier. So I think I was just a bit unlucky with how some of my cards came out, which is a bit of a shame. Could you not have done that earlier? What, when Devour? I had, when I had the thing here. I don't think I had Devour when uh, earlier. Okay. I think I picked up really close to the end. Right, so I okay. think it was just, just unlucky timing, really. Yeah. But Bloody Thirst is awesome, because it means that if you take a... Um, if you remove a highlight unit, you get six health back. That would have been very handy. I think I had that pretty much bloody says from the start, and I just didn't pick no. up a card that actually enabled me to remove a unit. So I did a classic Shadespire thing there, finally getting my blessing out, and then just forgetting to, complete, <laughs> forgetting to use it. Uh, it's it's good to know that I'm consistent across games. So what are my other blessings? I've got one which is, oh, supernatural horror. Highlight units, all of them are dormant. That's pretty vicious. That's for three turns. For three turns, it makes everything dormant. Orb of Immortality, ignore any damage from a highlighted enemy or ally that would defeat you. Instead, gain four health and expire this blessing. So I'm assuming um, defeating me is actually reducing me to zero. Ignore any damage from a highlighted enemy or ally that would defeat you. I assume defeat means reduce me to zero. I guess so. And yeah. then I gain full health and the blessing wow. expires. Uh, that okay. was quite a nice it's like one. A, it's like Soul Trap. Yeah, it is a bit of Soul Trapish. Mm -hmm. And then the last one I've got is Carrion Feast, which is a heroic act, does that much damage to your opponent and gains that much health back. And then I rotate this one step forwards. So I could do three damage there, two damage there, two damage Just there. Right, that's an action. 
Yes, so it is an action, mm. but I would gain overall do eight damage and heal eight damage. So that's a sixteen damage swing. My over final three turns. is one is divine last, which damages six damage to you and gain gives two to me. So it's an eight, an eight point swing. So what do you think? I like that. I I need to understand the undead deck a bit more. I think. Yeah, it's hard. When I you like that. I haven't played it at all. I like that. I like that game a lot. I um, it's. We probably spent a lot longer playing this than the average game would take because we were lots of talking about it and Robin's helped me because this is literally, you have watched me for the first time on camera play this game and I, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I think that there's some small problems with obviously knowing the deck uh, and knowing what cards you've got to come is always a good thing as, as Shades Buyers taught us, you need to know your deck. Mm -hmm. But um, I like this, I like the mechanics are simple. It doesn't take much to, to get the hang of it all. And I will definitely be wanting to play this again. Yeah, I think it's really fun. It's pretty quick. I mean, we did, did take a lot longer today because you were getting used to all the cards, but um, it doesn't feel like it's hard work to play. No, it doesn't. Uh, and, and the games have been really close. This game, I had two health left. In the two games I played with my son, I lost, um, so you're not as good as him. Uh, no. I had uh, one health left. Kids these days. I had one health left in both games. So it was pretty close. So and it, even this one was pretty close. It was, exactly. Well, it's two, you had, I had two health left. And, and, and often, you always feel like you're just one turn away from, from, from overturning the... Uh, it did feel like that. Yeah, yeah, it did yeah. feel like that. And although to start with, I was losing health quite quickly. I've got a lot of abilities that quickly shove my health back yeah, the yeah, other yeah. way again. So, yeah. so I think undead play more of a war of attrition, and then have more slower play cards that will bash. I you feel like that game really was a, a war of attrition because we both we had very few cards to play with. I was I was just having I had one card, and each time I would play one card and draw another. And I could, yeah. uh, never got back into a, into a situation where I had lots of cards to play. Yeah, and it was like little hempex. To, yeah, get, was, to get yeah, rid of it. It did feel a bit like that. Yeah, it's been henpecked again. Yeah, I'm used yeah. to that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you've got any questions, do ask in the comments below. We will put a link in the description to the rules because they are free online. Uh, if you've got any opinions about the games, if there are any tactics that either of us missed during that, do let us know. Which because there will we, be at this There point. will be yeah, a lot. And we are noobs. The decks are the ones that come straight out of the box, so they may not be optimal. Uh, so don't lambast us with, you've got a rubbish choice there, because, yeah, we know, can't help that. That's the starter deck. That's what you get. And if you're new to the game, do let us know what you think about it. If you've never played any of these kind of games before, because I've not played any of these games before, and I quite like it. I played Light Seekers for a little bit just to get an idea of how the rotating mechanics works and it's really easy I really like it I will say though much like Shadespire if you want to play competitively you need to get more cards but yes. actually that was a fun game you could have more cards <laughs> that was a fun game you could have with uh, several times I think uh, for quite a while playing with just that deck with your kids or whatever you could you could very easily play that game a dozen times through and get a different outcome each yeah, time I think, yeah I think it's fun and and the decks are only 13 quid so you can buy a couple pretty quickly and easily and anybody's going to be able to play it yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it do yeah. leave some feedback do let us know what you like what you didn't like let us know what you think of the game all the rest of it and, we'll and maybe we'll see you online certainly we'll try and bring you some more Warhammer Champions content in a few weeks time definitely we've got a couple of vacations ahead of us Woo! Uh, when we come back, we'll try and throw one of these. You know, I reckon once we get uh, better at it, we can play Shades by around this in an evening. And get a couple of videos out for you. So, <laughs> thumbs up for that. If you do want to see more Champions uh, content and you're happy to help us on our way to making more of it, we do have yes. a Patreon. Clearly, if you have just joined for, for Champions, it's probably a little bit early for, for, for that. But I just thought I'd mention it, just in case. Just in case you're just interested. Just a couple of dollars burning out um, some money. Even at the pocket. $2 level of once, you'll get no adverts and you get everything a week early. So, yeah, what's and, like and lots of chat with us and we're quite good fun I think we're funny guys uh, not too many people will leave uh, so, <laughs> so every now and then but you can't blame them really. <laughs> so anyway hope you enjoyed that we'll see you again soon and until next time bye, bye.